This week's Torah portion, Chukat, seems like it might be about water. With Miriam's death, the people are left without water. I think it's clear that the Torah is telling us that Miriam's death was a great loss. She was a leader, and when she left, the people were without sustenance, symbolized by water. And then the portion tells us that Moses tries to get water out of a rock. God told him to speak to the rock, and water would come out. We remember that Moses struck the rock, not once, but twice. And we can maybe remember when Moses was younger and he struck an Egyptian taskmaster who was torturing the Israelite slaves. We can understand at the time of slavery when anger and striking might have seemed the only response. But now Moses is a mature, developed leader. And yet even he, in this stage, can't just speak, but he strikes the rock. And even with that, God is okay. God himself gets angry. And so it's not the anger that Moses exhibits that's so painful, but that he holds on to the anger. And how many grown adults today are still holding on to anger from years and even decades before, which in the end doesn't hurt the rock, doesn't hurt the one we're angry at, but hurts the person who can't let go. Let's try this week, inspired by a portion, to let go of that anger and find water sustenance flowing with which we live our lives.